down. Well, they're in a great position. You know, why? You lost the ball game to one of the best teams in the NBA, so why let down now? You, the all Rubio, one of the top assist men in the league. In fact, fifth rank. That's one thing that really is interesting in the way that this young man's grown in his 30th start tonight. Wrap around. The Bear went up strong and a foul at the rim. It will be on Gorgie Jang, his first. Yeah, watch these two work out over the summer before they were drafted. And Jang remembers Rudy because if Rudy had a very good workout against him, a great pass here by Gordon, draws two defenders, and more important, there's that skip pass again. Hood gave it to Mack. He backs out with four on the shot clock. Hayward pushes Rubio with some space. The shot is away. And good. Craig, I, I think that one. Five to shoot. Loose ball hand. We'll see Greg Smith on the court for the first time tonight. Nearly halfway through the first quarter. Inside Hayward, yes. Love it, I love it. Up top he goes for two hands. Levine in traffic, going for the jam. It's off and rebounded by Hayward. Two-time dunk champ. The guy can fly high. Lyles, the hot hand. Ten points in a quarter as the rook flies in. Perimeter. Wiggins lets it fly deep and the rebound again. Hayward, right place, right time. His third board here in the quarter. Nice ball movement there by the, by the world, but the Jazz defended it very well. Hayward puts his shoulder down. Strong move. Levine tried to force that ball inside. Towns couldn't handle it. Mack runs, gives it up to Hayward. Two hands it. That's the second dunk of the rim tonight. That ball went right by Hayward. As we roll up on two minutes left, Gordon inside, hammered hard, and Wiggins will put Hayward to the line. And it's going to be three here on Wiggins. Let's check out Sharp. NBA News and Notes is brought to you by Les Olsen Company, your business empowered. LeBron moves two spots on the all-time points list in two nights. He's now number 11 all-time. Just past the big O. Bernard, does that upset you? Yes, it does. <laughs> Another new guy from Memphis. Bryce mm -hmm. Cotton could be 28th player. The 28th player to play this season. That would be an NBA record. Bryce Cotton, of course, had a cup of coffee here in Utah. April Fool, you should see this. Fesses Azili cut by Golden State? No. But Igudala organizes one of the most elaborate pranks I've seen in a while and posts it on the internet. It's a beautiful thing. you got to watch it. Well, I did not get a chance to, to see that. And, and today is April Fool's Day, and I've been very, very... I've been watching you very closely. Have you? Yeah. You, you seem to... Better not touch yeah. that. Whatever's in your... Fall down by four. Hood. Out front. And we got a foul. Muhammad. Try to hold back Gordon throws. Hayward. And it is. Gordon will hit, will hit the free throw line. Two on Muhammad. Stay tuned for the McDonald's halftime report. It's brought to you by McDonald's. And I'm loving it. I'm sure Big T and Alina have plenty of goods, goodies up there that they will not share again. Gordon's struggling from the free throw line here. Well, Ron, the team. The Jazz hit 45% against Golden State front court. 37 seconds left. Hayward in traffic and another touch foul out front. Muhammad again, his third. And this is why I think Gordon is at his best here. Watch how he catches the basketball and then immediately goes somewhere with it. The defender never gets the chance to get set and defend you or force you one way or the other. Catch, do something with the basketball right away. Hayward sneaks that one in. I'll tell you what, he, he's, he's struggling here. You see how he's aiming? And he's really aiming now. It's, 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 not, it's not fluent. I mean, it's, it's... Remember that game in Minnesota just last week? A 16-point fourth. He finished with 18. 6-9 from the floor. He had a pair of threes. And he's got about 22 points. Rubio shot. Nice rebound. Hayward skies high. And Utah now will get to play for the final shot and a chance to take the lead back. And this is what they worked on this morning. Oh, they're not going to use. Yes, they are going to. No, they're not going to use. <laughs> Make up your mind, Dana. Hayward. Hood. Three. Bang! Hood just beat the buzzer. And the Jazz worked their way back from eight from six down, and they have a lead of 51-49. Uh, 
sets him out, draws it deep in. Boy, I tell you, Levine didn't go for, for Gordon. He was just late getting there. Perfectly thrown pass, bam, catches up with it right away, knocks down a three from the corner. He's seven foot one. He's going to shoot over the top of most defenders in this league. Jazz with a six point lead, looking for more. Hayward's shot. You see Gordon knocking down his 15 point of the ball game, did not challenge the Tom steps back, knocks down a little 18 footer. Jazz. But it's 7 to 13. Under eight minutes left, third quarter. Matt drives back out to Hayward. Wide open. 18 points there for Gordon, his first three. Look how open Hayward is on this three. Everyone sags back to the three, to the baseline. And, and that's like a, that's a practice shot. Yeah. Bro. Favors out tonight with a sore knee. Here's Hayward in the paint. Oh, yes, clutch shot. He took the bump. Uh, he gets, he, see, he has a chance. He thinks to get all the way to the basket, and then there's Rubio. Then he just slows up. Hey, puts it right over the top of Rubio. I'll tell you, Gordon is good with contact. He's taking another bump right here. Oh, the big finish. Went around Wiggins and powers it up and in. And he said he, he got bumped. You know, that's how hard he's dribbles to the basketball. Boom, one bump, two bumps. Just stays with it and just keeps going right to the basket. There wasn't a foul call on this, and then normally you would see something or hear the whistle blow, but you have to love with five minutes left. Wiggins misfires. Hayward.